What's up, guys? How's it going? We got a new follower, Shades SBU. Thank you for following, my friend. You could expect more content like this. You guys haven't been to my Discord? Come by, check it out. Video game Discord. Mostly. And yeah, slowly growing. The last time, I forgot to change the, the, the part for this. It's actually one more. So what does it say here? It says, but it should be one more part than what it actually says, right? The last time, I got my ass kicked by those uh, alien dudes, right? I'm glad I saved after beating this guy. And I thought that dude had uh, plot armor. No, he doesn't have plot armor. I don't understand. Sometimes, what's his name? Lags. Cloak. And sometimes he'll attack right away. And sometimes he'll just wait. Even though I'm pressing the button, I got no clue why. The combat in this game is annoying. It's definitely lacking. Prepare, compared to another similar game, which is Tales of Destiny, it's definitely lacking. So I gotta go through all this crap again. Oh, I wish there was a way to skip this. Sadly, a lot of games at this time made at this time and before didn't have a skip button. So yeah, we gotta go through this again. If you guys do want to read? Put in for the first time. My previous video. At the end of it, I actually read the whole thing, so you could do it that way, or you could pause every single time and read. There's some crazy things get revealed here. Something modern games do have good is a skip option, but sometimes they'll let you skip the whole thing, and then sometimes they'll go like step to step, which is really, really dumb, really in inconsistent of newer games, too. So I believe I gotta run away from this battle. Because I could even hurt this guy. Oh man. You think you're so tough. Without plot armor, you'd be nothing. Oh, I can't escape, so... I mean, look at this. See, I don't get this. Look, I'm gonna die here. I can't even escape, right? Oh my god, is she really this slow? Look, he, 
he heals. This is what I mean about combat. Look at this, okay? It selects dead members. Why would you do that when they were creating the game? Did they just forget? Oh, whoops, we forgot to take this mode off. Whoops. Yeah, I, I just hate this. You select what circle, right? So you move around, and then to deselect the character, you need to press circle again. You don't press press the X button, right? This this whole selection thing is so... So shit, man. Sure, let's try. Watch, he's gonna kill me and I'm gonna die. How are you so fast? Out of time, what? Oh, I just have to survive? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wish the king would tell me. You just gotta survive two minutes. These guys are like Saiyans, man. Saiyajins. That's good. I don't have to go through that crap again. So let's see what happens here. Something big is going to happen, right? Oh, my controller is shaking and vibrating. I think that's enough coffee. I'm streaming before my bedtime, so... I don't want to drink too much coffee. Kurtzman. Else in the past, hey, I'm doing good, bro. How about you? This this game is actually getting pretty good. It got really stale for the last four five hours I played. Even more, actually. Apparently, you could get to level two hundred and fifty-five. A little hot around here, but I'm managing it for now. Really? It's hot where you are? That's good, man. It's cold where I am. I live in Canada. It's actually the hottest spot in Canada, but it's still cold. Oh, I finished this one? Really? Where do you live, if you don't mind me asking? It's always hot where you are. You must be closer to the equator. Or, oh, you're in Brazil? Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I guess, I guess you guys are pretty much always hot there. Huh? Crazy. The disc, yeah. <clears throat> so I gotta switch the disc. Yeah, I was I was actually listening to um um I forget the guy who does the podcast. He does Revolutions podcast, and is explaining uh, in the eighteen 
20s. What's going on in uh, South America? I think there's like per Peru. He was explaining Peru and Colombia, the history of there. I believe they are neighbors of Brazil. This game has two discs. I didn't even realize that. So I got through disc one in how many hours? Oh shit. Well, I switched to this because I think that's what it told me to. Do I want to save? Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's two discs, so 16 hours. I guess because of all the FMVs, right? Oh yeah, my whole team's dead except Brenna. Right? Yeah, yeah. I I love switching discs. It is very nostalgic. Okay, so open it up. I remember what FF seven. I had to do it twice. Because that has three discs. So in in Brazil, is is the whole country under one time zone? All those saying dudes are talking, huh? Really, three time zones, wow. This is going really fast. <laughs> Gotta read fast. I'm not pressing any buttons, it's, it's just skipping it by itself. Well, your English is very good. I do believe Portuguese is the main language in, in Brazil. Oh yeah, that's I think that's a dude I fought. It was yells. Yeah, the uh, Sega Master System is 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 pretty big in your country, right? I kept um because I watch a lot of video game content. Um I've seen many times talk about all the games that that were produced for the Sega Master System. Oh, you still have yours, huh? It was actually my my first console, so I do also have fond memories of it. It's it's pretty good, man. Except for the sound quality, uh, it's got really nice visuals for eight bit system. But before I stream anything on it, I'd like to get a modded. I still have my or like original system I got in 87. It's that old. I wonder if the gun would work. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Imagine playing, playing uh, uh, what is it called? Safari Hunt? On stream with the gun? <laughs> <That> <laughs> Austin DePaz says, really, that's cool. I always think that people in on North America barely saw one. Well, it was actually very low key. The reason why I, I got a Sega Master System, I wanted the NES, okay? Uh, when I saw it, uh, my my dad brought me over to uh, his friend's house. And he had Mario and Zelda, okay? And we we played those like all day and night, okay? So when we left, I, I kept bothering my dad. I'm like, I want a Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. So we went to the store and they were all out and uh, I started crying. My parents bought me a, a Sega Master System. So that's how I ended up with one. I didn't really have a lot of games for it though. I had uh, Aztec Adventure and uh, Wonder Boy. And it came with two games. It came with, uh, with the motorcycle game 
and the Safari Hand. That's basically the four games I had. Yeah. It's it's cool though, like it's got a it's it's got some some good games on it. Oh did I get paint on my beard? Yeah I did. So we showed up somewhere completely different. If I had Fantasy Star I would totally play it, but um the only version of Fantasy Star 1 I have is actually on the Sega Sega Mark III Japanese version. I mean, look at look at this cart. Look at how how beautiful it is. So when I saw it on eBay, I'm like, I I got to buy this, right? It's it's really really nice. Way nicer than what we got in North America, right? So that's the only version of Fanny Star I have, and uh, I don't think I could play it. I don't even know if it fits. And when you compare Fanny Star with anything on the NES, any other RPG. I think the closest ones that could compare is uh, Dragon Warrior 2, 3, 4. Every other RPG is like, uh, you know, so-so. Alice in the Past says, I had a couple of Master Sister games. One I found out recently that it's pretty rare. Name is Fire and Ice. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know the, the prices on the Master System. I, besides that, I have like five Master System games. I, I got like Rastan, I got Golden Axe, Double Dragon, which is actually better than the NES version. I got two other games. But our our carts are, are so ugly. Did you see the what the North American carts look like? Oh yeah, I, I got Shinobi and Lord of the Sword. That's pretty much all I have. But yeah, I'll... I'll show you what our cards look like. Yeah, that's that's actually a good looking one. For the most part. So it's got this like white border. And uh, yeah, they just don't look very ap appealing. I th like I think it was a big mistake for the for the master system to go with this white background graded with with the grades right maybe it would have sold a lot better if uh, they didn't do that Oh, this is the other planet? So I guess I'm gonna find out what happened. Because what basically happened is another planet crashed into um, Rena's planet, right? So that's, that's what we saw there. And I'm guessing this game has another 16 hours, so probably one more week, one and a half more weeks playing this. You're a Nidian.
And let's check out the planet. Man, this is a good... It's a good looking game. This is something I would expect from a Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn uh, does 2D a lot better, right? And this game is doing 2D very well on the uh, PlayStation. Maybe a new character. My neck always hurts. I got one of those back massagers, except I can't find the charger. So lame. Nah, bro. Somebody brought you there. Oh, yeah. My whole team is dead. I ain't resurrecting him. What are you, nuts? I should be giving him in. You want to see me play Final Star 4? Uh, it's going to happen. I just don't want to stream Genesis games uh, because it's only composite, right? That's that's the best connection I have, and I'd love to uh, get it modded. It's actually next on my investment list, right? So I want to get my Genesis modded. And uh, to, to component an S video, and there's another mod that I was looking at. It's to make sure that um, the Genesis uses the Sega CD sound port so that could be a huge improvement for uh the way that game sound oh Final star 4 absolutely agree it's like it's also one of my favorites i'd put it in my top five games of all time all my top five games are rpgs so yeah it's it's really really good I played this uh, mod hack of Gnarl, his name is Gnarl, Phantom Star 4, and uh, I think it was called uh, Nightmare Mode. It was so hard that I couldn't even finish it. Like one random battle can just kill you. Yeah, it's it's like stupid hard. You gotta you gotta level grind so much. And that was an accidental. I accidentally played the mod hack because <laughs> uh, when I had stored all my games away, I just wanted to play Final Star Four, so I downloaded it on my phone, right? And. Uh... Yeah, it was it was the incredibly hard version of it.
Oh, some story drop here. 3.7 billion million years ago. This guy knows, right? About what happened 3.7 billion years ago, of course. Giant Massacre. So who who beat him? Okay.
Sinard. We'll wait for you. That dude has a big chin, man. Soundtrack kind of reminds me of Shining the Holy Ark. this what this is a whole village man instead. What? When you have written a book 40 of reading. Oh. Okay. I wonder if anyone new will join. I really want to drop Selene. I just want an end, man. I need an end. I'm not using three life potions. Spending like 15 grand. To resurrect my dudes. Ugh.
talking to people so I don't miss anything. I'm reason. Baby. Mother of child. Who's found me? Okay. What the hell was that? What the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> Tavern. Oh, okay, okay. This is actually a city. For some reason, I thought I was at the bottom right. Two hundred bucks. At least we're not charged by the level. I forget there was a game that did that. The higher level you were, the more it would cost for the end. What are you, James Bond? I hate big cities, honestly. I like cities nice and small. Once you go in, there's an inn. There's a tool shop. And there's a weapon shop. That's it. That's all I want to see. Restaurant. What is in this restaurant? High quality food ingredients. Let's see. I'm gonna stock up on more, more food stuff. Ooh, that's a steak. Berry juice. Really. Proprietor. Look, my guys are. Oh, they're not dead anymore. Right, right. I was like, where's the end? I just went to an end. I, I forgot that I went. <laughs> oh. Finally, this is weapons. Hundred and twenty thousand. A flask invented by a man versed in alchemy in the ways of the dead. It refines material to an even higher degree. I got them. Bullshit, bro. It's bullshit. Artemis leave. Oh, uh, I'm looking at the zeros, um, and I was thinking, don't I have some of these? Good. Beret. A floppy hat. Floppy. Really? Bandits Club. <laughs> like, I got no clue what that is.
magical film. What the hell is all this stuff, man? It should tell me in, in the description of the item, right? Oh. Okay, I have that one. I have the... I don't know what I have, so I'm just gonna... Try to get everything. Okay. I... I... Cut it out. I'll go where I want. Uh, 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 uh. Please don't come in the back. No. No. I don't do explanations. I don't want to be told that ex explanations. I want to, if I want explanations, I want to be able to access them in the game, not at a shop, right? That's how I roll. They're like games that do tutorials, I would shake my head. Tutorial, really? Well, there's no weapon shop in there. It's different. This is a different soundtrack. Whatever, I don't care about this village. This ghetto ass village here. This village is ghetto. Where the ghetto people live. Come on, are we gonna get in a battle? Oh, what? They got floating islands in here? Finally. Really? We got the same enemies, but different looking? Oh my god. They paralyzed? What the hell is going on? Is the enemy really so high up that it can't reach? What kind of garbage is this? Go Celine, spam thunderstorm and kill that douchebag in the air. Did they really have to poison? Ugh, man. You know why? Now I gotta go here. I gotta do this. And this. And this, right? That's crazy though. Floating island, huh? Let's keep walking around. Looks like I must fight. Whoa, Careful. it's the same enemies on both planets. Who would have known? They got pretty lazy with the enemy designs. Compared to Final Fantasy VII? Oh, what? It combos? It's gotta be timed, okay. It's kinda hard when... My character is going all over the, the place. It's not going back and forth. It's an issue I always had with 3D fighting games, which I never play 3D fighting games. I can't stand that. You can go whatever direction, right? It was okay. Conductor's baton. Okay, okay. I'm not down with the enemies here. They don't give enough to warrant uh, doing some level grinding. They're almost weaker than. What I was fighting before. Oh, I thought it said slimies. <laughs> I read smileys as slimies. Stuff. I don't get this. 
Doesn't Bowman wear knuckles? Oh, I'm really wondering if I should buy stuff here. Oh, why is there so many types of hand weapons? Jean's helmet. Mitril code. Stuff actually looks pretty amazing, but 52 grand for that armor. Eel toad boots, really. They're that good, steel toad boots. Anyways, uh, I'll buy the weapons for sure. I just don't want to go broke. Definitely getting these. Uh, I'll buy one of these. Too ghetto to buy more. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. So it's either avoidance or defense. I think I'll go with the guaranteed defense and not the, the RNG avoid. smell we're not wearing that no ain't happening huh I thought I bought a steel helm nice magic up mitril oh come on Well, let's see. I could always equip her back. Still have the mud boots. <laughs> mud boots. Mithril. I guess I didn't buy a steel helm. There we go. So, 331. I know Claude takes little damage. So I'm thinking if Bowman has close defense to Claude's. He'll be a lot harder to kill, right? Okay. That's it. Oh, I can't go back there. There's a dude back there. What if he's got something to give me?
Yeah, I'd love to play Phantasy Star 4, actually. Thinking about that now. What the hell is this crap? She's gonna join me, obviously. Plutsy, too. Are they making a reference to the movie, Fatal Attraction? Like, look at all this stuff. What is this for? Belzer Bird Bones! Hey, what's up? Won't be on too much tonight. Headed to bed soon, but wanted to stop in for a few minutes to say hello for sure, bro. This game's pretty cool, actually. I got. I'm on the second disc now. What's this hammer? Let's buy two. I'm collecting the materials. I think they're gonna be useful. How many discs are there in this game? There are two discs. And it took me 16 hours to get through the first one. And uh, it had quite a bit of FMVs. So I'm guessing that's why. Burbone says, side note, Shining Force Run is still alive. I'm down a Chris and a Tao. Oh, wow. Chris is, Chris is pretty nice, right? <clears throat> she, she has that, uh, what is it called? Quick? Quick spell? <clears throat> My trick was uh, I cast Quick on Domingo. And just send like Domingo in the middle of the enemies and they surround him and try to attack him. Chris was killing him. Yeah, she's actually, um, she could be considered the best healer in the game. Until you get Tarasu with a shield. Aura and shield are just dumb and broken. But you also get Tarasu at the end of the game, right? So... That's why I, I say uh, Chris could be the best healer in the game. Robone says she was the unfortunate casualty of a double attack by a Torchai. <laughs> uh, the worst is double attacks are pretty horrible, right? Have you ever experienced double critical? I think... Uh, Somebody got it done on my run. I don't remember who got it, but it was... Yeah, bad RNG. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It, But that's how the game works, right? The enemy can double attack you at any time. It can happen. 41 HP as well. Wow. That's not low HP as well. Oh, of course. The, the breath attack from the torch eye does like 20 damage, right? 20 something. Just, just bad luck, yeah. What is this? In this game, I'm actually finding out that the combat system is... Um, kind of incomplete. It's not as good as I thought it was. Tales of Destiny has a way better combat system. 17 to 22 damage range. And Chris had 43 defense anyway. Incomplete as in... Um... Okay, so... I just realized that enemies can go really, really high up in the air. And the only way to hit him is with a spell. So if you don't have any mana, you can't hit them. Uh, selecting your characters is incredibly tedious. You, like, you need to press circle. And... You need to press circle. And it goes from character to character. 
So, so the screen has to move from like character to character, right? And to select the character again, you need to press circle, right? So if you want to cast a spell, let's say, let's say I want to control Claude and I want to cast manual spells with, um, here, let me, let me go, let me go in a combat and show you how tedious the combat is. After playing Tales of Destiny, which is by no means perfect. It's just hard to explain to people, uh, it's hard for them to understand who, who played this and don't have other games to reference. Well, let's do it. And what I'm learning is, by playing all these, all these different games, I can compare them. So, okay. So this is how you select your character, okay? Let's say, let's say I want to play as Claude, but I want to cast a spell with Rena or uh, Celine, okay? So I, I have to go on Celine. Then, I need to press triangle on her and go here. Another thing that I don't like is that the uh, the spell UI is just so cramped. In Tales of Destiny, it was actually, it would go to another screen and it would show you all your spells. So then you can see all your spells instead of having two, two rows here. So I want to cast, let's say, uh, Southern Cross, okay? Sure. Now, now it has selected Celine. Okay. So now I need to go back to Claude. So I need to press Circle again. Go to Claude. Okay. I've 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 gotten Claude right. So so the issue here is in Tales of Destiny, you would just press Triangle in combat, and then you would get a menu, and then you would select all your commands. And then when you exited uh, triangle, you exited the menu, it would do all those commands at once. This is kind of tedious, doing them all like one at a time. So I select again. So turn order is, um, is, is all real time. There, there is no uh, agility. I believe agility actually increases your um, attack, like uh, hit hit percentage. Um, I know, I know there's a speed stat which actually increases how fast you run in in, in combat. And if I want to run freely, I, I have to hold square, which is great. I think that option is cool. If I don't hold square in combat, and I just press attack, it'll actually automatically target and attack somebody. But I could press square and actually direct my guy if I want to wait to attack. What if I want to change moves during... A battle so moves as in you want to give different commands in battle you have to select characters individually and do individual commands unlike in tells of destiny that had a master menu in combat that you selected all your commands this one you have to select individual characters which makes it incredibly t like tedious I heard uh, it was sort of fixed in on the PSP remake, but I don't know. Else in the past says, "Dang, I just asked my mom if that if my Master System cards were still there, and she said she threw them a she threw them away, bro." That sucks, man. Burbone says right, but if I wanted to do offense, I selected everything. But now someone is hurt by poison, and I want to fix it. So, so Burbones, um, there's actually an easy way to do that. It's like like this. You go to combat here, and you go to strategy, which is pretty nice, right? So, y uh, you only get one healer. For now, uh, like I only got one healer, and it's Rena. So I, 
she has one one mode in combat i just want her to to do healing right so recover friends only then you do this you go to spells and you highlight what spells you want your characters to cast now this is really cool right so if i don't want her casting haste in battle i highlight it off right so she basically casts cure light cure all antidote in this spell in combat which is extremely useful um now there's a downside to this so Celine here, right? I I have her cast Thunderstorm, right? It's not too costly, so she doesn't run out of MP quick. As let's say she was using uh, Southern Cross all like all the time, but the issue with this is that in combat you cannot alter this, right? So that's the big issue. So when when I get to a boss battle she'll still do the same thing even though i would want to switch it up for boss battles burbon says so they'll use magic based on ai yes so they'll keep spamming the spells that you have turned on right picking whichever one you want but um there are modes so i could go attack till all mp is gone conserve mp Attack clean enemy, use no heraldic spells. Uh, that's like basically uh, DPS magic, right? So I could put conserve MP, right? Uh, I've never used throw, throw own body into attack. Uh, this game. It's not really like Beyond the Beyond though, because Beyond the Beyond is, uh, the battle is completely different. The battle system is more like Tales of Destiny in this game. Okay, bro. You have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. You'll be missing an action all, all weekend long, huh? Okay. Yeah, man. I lost in the past, so... Oh, your mom threw out your Sega Master System games. Ugh. I bet she thought they weren't worth anything, right? These are just toys. Have a great night, Burbones. Yeah. I got some, some stuff in my parents' garage too. I, I got uh <laughs> I got comic books, posters, an arcade cabinet that doesn't work. Some wires I think I think a wire got ripped in it. Oh my god, I'm not I'm not doing this. Also, the past says, to be honest, I didn't plan on keeping them. I was probably going to donate them or something. I usually don't sell my old stuff. Were they still boxed? Like, complete in box? Or just the cartridges? Why does it do that? Box? Damn. Now the market is all about the GameCube games.
a sin art is an animal. No. No. I don't I don't have the whole day just to read about skills. How big is my GameCube collection? Uh, one second. Let me count. It's behind me. I have... Uh, I have 37 games. I got all the um, I got pretty much all the heavy hitters though on GameCube except for do, do I have Paper Mario? I know I know on the 64 I am missing Paper Mario. I do have Paper Mario, yeah. So I just don't have it on the 64, which I kind of wish I got at the time. I just didn't really like Paper Mario. I tried it. And I'm like, this is not. Super Mario RPG on the SNES. It's not as good. I'm not going to play it, but of course I'm regretting that right now. Do I have the Pokemon RPGs? I believe I, I have. I have one. I know there's so many special editions, right? Uh, I just have this one, Coliseum. I never even played it. Probably should have kept the seal. I know they are the most expensive games. The one that are the Pokemon games that are like special editions with the big boxes and stuff. They're worth thousands. Coliseum, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, I've only played Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 on a 64. The director. The director. Did uh, did Coliseum on the GameCube? Can you tra like? Could you transfer your files just like on the 64? On the 64, you had this special device that came with the uh, with the game, with the uh, with the game that you connected to the controller, and then you could actually put in your your Game Boy game, and then your Game Boy Pokemon would appear on Coliseum. Uh, sorry, on Stadium, on the N64. That's why that game is so cool. Also, in the past says, Coliseum is a different beast. It's more like a traditional RPG, like a Game Boy. Oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, I did, I did play a little bit of it. Okay, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think I played it for like 15 or so minutes and I, I, I gave up. Okay. It's, yeah, it's an RPG. You're right, yeah. The guy on a bike and whatnot. Right, 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 okay. Yeah, because Stadium was just, besides the battles, it was just like mini games. And the mini games were fun. Oh man, me and my friends spent so much time on that game. Oh, you played it on the Wii? Cool. I don't have very many Wii games. I think like 15 games or so. Wii's kind of a shit system, man. I bought it. Then... I was like, what is this controller? Why does this controller exist? So then I found out that I could use my GameCube controllers on it, so that, that was a lot better. 
did I buy Mega Man X Command Mission? Uh, I believe so. On on the GameCube, right? Yeah! I own Mega Man X Command Mission, yeah! <laughs> I was always a fan of Mega Man. I don't think I tried it. I may have tried it. I think I got that game used. I don't remember. But I really like the uh, Mega Man collections on the GameCube. Because I got a PS2 afterwards. So I got Mega Man Collection and Mega Man X Collection on the GameCube, right? And um, I, re I really don't mind playing it on a GameCube controller. It works pretty well. How is Command Mission? Is it an RPG? I think that's why I got it. I heard it was an RPG. It is RPG, okay. It's probably why I got it. <laughs> like Mega Man 64 or Mega Man Legends. But that's more of an adventure game, right? It's not really RPG. Yeah, the GameCube actually has... It's got a pretty good library from what I remember. It's got even... Um... I do realize that it's it's on Xbox and PS2 as well, but X-Men Legends 1 and 2, which I thought X-Men Legends 2 is really, really good. I'd actually say that's... That's like a top-notch RPG I played. It's really well done. It really reminds me of uh, Baldur's Gate. It's, it's kind of like D&D. And uh, the item drops are like Diablo. Yeah, if you've never played X-Men Legends 2, definitely give it a try. You play a, like you can play as a juggernaut. That's why it's so cool. Then <clears throat> another game like it uh, is actually Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That one is that's probably the best Marvel game. I've ever played. Yeah, GameCube also has Skies of Arcadia Legends. Of course, it's just uh, Skies of Arcadia from the Dreamcast with, I believe, some extra dungeons. Just like a tiny bit of extra stuff. Definitely worth playing that game. Very good. Baten Kaitos, that's another great RPG. I really enjoyed the, the card battle system. I heard a lot of people didn't like it.
Is Sonic Chronicles the the RPG? Because I played a Sonic RPG game on the DS. I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm at, I'm at GameStop. Uh, it's called EB Games here. And uh, I see this game, right? I'm like, okay. It's a Sonic game. Whenever I see a Sonic game, I always look at the box. Right? And I'm like, this is an RPG, really? So, I bought it. And uh, at that time, uh, that was right when I broke my ankle. So, when... My father brought me to the, ho uh, to the hospital, and I'm like, I'm going to bring one game with me, right? I don't care. I, I just grabbed the game. I brought Sonic Chronicles, so I played that while I was at the hospital. It was great, man. I got to finish it there, so so my memory of Sonic Hospital, uh, Sonic Chronicles is at the hospital. All I remember is that it was it's actually pretty decent. You know what I really liked? Yeah, Sonic Hospital. <laughs> what I really enjoyed on the DS, it's a game called Etrian Odyssey. So you kind of create your team. It's all classes, right? So you pick a class and then you you roll the dice. It's kind of like wizardry, right? So you, so, you, so you create all your characters. And then once, what what's really cool, it's like Fantasy Star 1, right? So, so you walk first person in a dungeon, right? And it's it's got all that RPG stuff. The, the battles are like, they're, they're cool. They're like first, first person, right? And then you play with the stylus. But what's really cool about it is uh, you you make your own map in the game. So it takes a little bit of time, but you could put markers on the map. You could say, go here because there's something there. And then, yeah, it's, it's pretty unique, Etrian Odyssey. I never finished it, but I'd love to go back to it. I just love that it wasn't it wasn't like your your traditional RPG. I really like first person RPGs. Oh look at that. That's a sinner. Don't kill it. I won't do it with spirit. <laughs> Yeah, my my favorite Sonic game is Sonic 2. Oh, holy shit. I guess don't jump in the Don't jump in the fire. Uh, okay. Why don't we Why can't you use items? Don't don't Also in the past says, I have a first person RPG I got some time ago, a recent one. Whenever I see a first person RPG, I remember it. What is it called? I'm pretty interested. Or or a game like Razor on the SNES. Uh, I was watching uh, a shout out to Sir Doughboy. He was playing the Razor remake. It looked alright. But apparently they remade Razor 1. Well, they should have made Razor 3. That's, that's a Sims RPG with a second part of the game that goes into like platforming. Kind of like Golden Axe plat platforming, so it's, it's really cool. Oh my god. Can you just 
drop that thing on the floor? Yeah, there really isn't enough for first-person RPGs. There's Wizardry 6 or 5 or whatever on the SNES. But that game looks like shit, and I'd rather not play it. Aw, oh, come on. There's Stone Keep on the PC. Why isn't this thing dying, man? Come on! Can you just fall on the floor? This had to be a flying enemy, huh? It had to be. Mind ring. Sweet! Really, you're blaming us? Ungrateful piece of shit. Just cut it up and, like, sell its meat or something. I got no clue. Legend of Grim... Legend of Grimrock? What system is that on? Never even heard of this. That's cool. Legend of Grim... We got it on Steam, okay. Yeah, I want to get a bunch of games on Steam. I'm going to wait till summertime. Summer Steam sale. I want to play that, that new ActRaiser game. That's still new, bro. <laughs> the game is released in 2014. <clears throat> I'm playing a game from, uh, what, 1997, 98 here? I think that's when the 3DS came out. Probably before. It looks modern to you? Okay. PS3 onwards games to me actually look all modern. Yeah, 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 for sure, right? I find out too, anything on uh, Xbox 360 or PS3 just looks way too good. I remember playing, Go it's called Dragon Age on Xbox 360. That was pretty good. Really enjoyed it.
<laughs> yeah. Dragon Age is pretty good. It, right, it reminded me a lot of Baldur's Gate. Just like traditional uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, nice. It's one of your favorites, yeah. Oh, we talked about it? <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, that's one system, a uh, newer system I played a lot of, actually. I think I got it in the late 2000s. Yeah, I still recommend uh, starting with the first Baldur's Gate and playing all the expansions with your save file and then transferring your save file over to Baldur's Gate 2, playing Baldur's Gate 2 with your save file and then playing all the expansions with the same save file. It's, it's great, man. It's kind of like Golden Sun, right? Or Sukadem 1 and 2. Or I guess even uh, the GBA Pokemons up to the DS. You can transfer all your files over from your with your Pokemon. That's crazy, man. Get into a transporter. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with Pokemon, you can transfer your Pokemon from like Fire Red to Leaf Green to Emerald to Ruby, um, Sapphire, right? And then you, you could actually, um, I don't remember how it's done. If you just stick the cartridge in a DS with your DS game, but you can actually transfer it from your D from your GBA game to your DS. Oh yeah. Well, there's a thing, right? Is that if you don't have the right gym badge, uh, you can't really use the Pokemon. So the the trick is. A really fun trick without game sharking is that you could uh, you could get level five Pokemon, and let's say let's say I want to play Black Two, okay, and I have White Two and I've beaten White Two. So what you do in Pokemon White Two is you do uh, you breed Pokemon, and then get like level five versions of them, and then <clears throat> as soon as you're able to trade with Black. 2 and white 2 you transfer your like level 5 pokemon over and then you could have your team of 6 right from the start of the game i don't remember um how early you can do that in the game but it's like pretty early i think it's before the first gym or after the first gym yeah that's i i played all my pokemon games like that instead of just playing the pokemon game and fighting all your pokemon it would take so long right There was a summer I broke my ankle too, so um, I think it took like eight months for it to heal. So I was playing like all my Pokemon games, man. I wanted a Pokemon spree. <laughs> I'm stuck at home. I think all my Pokemon are stuck on my either my. Yes, Pokemon White or Pokemon Black. One of those purchases. Also in the past says, most fun I had with Pokemon game was playing a hack of Pokemon White. Wolf White, I think it was called. A hack, really?
You could find Pokemon from all generations in the wild, and the trainers used actual competitive strategies. Oh, whoa. That actually sounds pretty cool. The poison gym leader kicked my ass so hard I feel to this day. What? I want to play that now. Man, gym leaders that could actually beat you? That's, that's a good challenge. Else in the past says she would poison my Pokemon and proceed to use a move that dealt double or triple damage. What? That's crazy, man. What kind of Pokemon would this poison user use? Like uh, Nidoran and... What else was there? Ekans. I just remember Generation 1. I think there was Tentacruel. Which is actually pretty good. Noel Chandler. Christmas. His name is Christmas. So we gotta make sure not to kill it. You joined the party. Else in the past says, by the way, did you check the Nintendo Direct today? I got no clue what Nintendo Direct is. 
Is it like Nintendo Netflix or something? Please tell me you got... Wow. You still have all this to gain. It's how they call their little show. Where the showcase, where they showcase upcoming games. It happens every four months. Oh no, I didn't know about that. I didn't really check video game news today. Uh, for my video game news, I use, uh, you know, Pat the NES Punk? He's got a podcast. I use him. And I do watch Cinemassacre, but they haven't come out with a video for a long time. Whoa. Pet food, yeah. Yeah, I got pet food. Yeah, yeah, Pet the uh, NES Punk, right? They did the uh, Nintendo Championships. That was so good, that episode. Yeah, I, I love AVGM, man. I actually fall asleep to AVGN <laughs> every night. That's what I put on, and I fall asleep to it. Yeah, that guy, that guy makes money while I'm sleeping. Because I'm watching his videos while I'm sleeping. The latest episodes, yeah, what was it? It was uh, it was LJN, right? He was reviewing all the LJN games and making his own game. Yeah, it's alright. Like, I don't think anything will beat. Actually, I don't know. I can't say his earlier seasons are good. Some some shows are just better. Like, what's that guy? The one with, uh... It was one of his newer ones. The guy who did the... Uh, Diago's voice in uh, Aladdin, the the parrot. He's a like little Asian actor. That guy is hilarious, man. In the one episode, he's like, "Who the fuck goes there? Who the fuck are you?" And he's pointing a gun at him. <laughs> that that part makes me laugh so hard, man. Uh. Middle thing. Mithril coat. You have Mithril? Really? You can wear everything. Right, yeah, yeah. James bringing back the show to old standards. Yeah, he says... <laughs> he says the worst stuff. On there, I can't even say it on uh, Twitch. I'll probably get flagged, but uh, yeah, he says some pretty nasty stuff, uh, and, and he's still monetized. I don't know how he does it, but but good for him, right? There was a time that I thought the episode sucked. Yeah, some of the episodes are worse, but um, out of his recent ones, his Commodore 64. Have you seen that one where where he shows all these uh, 
all these floppy disk games. I thought that one was so good. That that was like the old days, right? I haven't seen the movie. But yeah, but I heard it sucked and I heard that uh Yeah. Yeah, it just wasn't good, right? Oh, what am I doing? Okay, one last save and then I'll definitely try this guy out. Uh, <clears throat> I also really like his episodes where he's reviewing uh, video game magazines or or the tiger electronic ones where where he's like reviewing a whole bunch of stuff or his uh his christmas one where where he's reviewing <laughs> all the covers for, for the video games with the messed up covers yeah that's that made me laugh pretty hard Yeah, 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 sport games, football, 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 right? And whenever I, whenever I hear football, people say football, I, I think of James now. Do you, uh, do you listen to his podcast? I know he has a main one for like two months, but. I think his podcast is pretty good. The only problem is, um. It's not okay. You could get like two guys, three guys, just like shooting the shit. But if people tune in on his podcast to to listen to James, and he's got those other guys on there, not the host, right? It should be James and host, and the other guys should kind of give what they have to. I forget what they're called. There's a uh, Silverman and the other guy. He kept coming in drunk. He was so annoying, man. This this dude when he was drunk. I, I like I had to shut off the podcast. It was so annoying. Like I, I tune into that podcast because, uh, because I want to hear about James. I want to hear about his life, and the host. And I think the other guys, uh, his his co-host, should really co like compliment him. His podcast, it's it's hit or miss. Uh, his his guests are good. I really like his guests. I think they're very interesting. Uh, but the conversation got gets hijacked from James, like his co-host won't let James speak. They'll ask him a question, then I'll just jump in and they'll say a bunch of random shit. Like I really don't care about those other dudes. Uh, I think they they should be able to speak because they're on the podcast. Just know your place, right? People aren't there for them; they're there for James, right? He's he's the AVGN. He's that channel. He's the face of that channel. People are there for him. And uh, and that one dude, man, getting drunk on on stream, like that's gotta be professional, right? Or if you've ever watched the or or listen to Joe Rogan, he'll drink on his podcast, but. Just, just a little bit, you know, and he's pretty good about it. Just enough for a buzz. But this guy would get like pissed drunk before, <laughs> before the episode, and and he's speaking, he's speaking on the podcast, and he's drunk as shit. Okay, like you could, <laughs> you can tell because he's slurring his words, and he's just talking about the dumbest stuff. I forget his name, man. <laughs> yeah. I like like I listen to a lot of podcasts and I've never heard anything like that. It's it's just pretty dumb. Those guys have their own show, and that's cool. But I don't watch it because I really don't care about <laughs> I don't care about what they have to say. I also like uh, if if you know Mike Mate. I find that guy hilarious, man. Like that that dude rage <laughs> he he rages pretty hard. 
James's friend, right? That's why I like watching him. He, he, he like he'll just go on tangents and just start raging. He's basically the real angry video game nerd. Like that's that's his real personality. Oh yeah, uh, that's you know what he he did that. He really posted it. I went to the Reddit and uh, when I clicked on the Reddit, I, I I saw it. So, right? Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have done that. Plus, I I saw his like little cartoon, you know. But it was pretty dumb of him to draw something like that. I don't agree with it. Uh, but it's not like Mike talks about what he did. And I believe he has apologized for it, so... I also believe people should get a second chance. Yeah, bro, he, he actually posted it. That was pretty dumb of him. <laughs> yeah, and and then there's there's some things you shouldn't talk about your personal life, and then I know Mike Mike Mate's done that, and holy crap, these monsters are just. Am I gonna die here? Oh shit. He he's posted about his dirty laundry with his with his girlfriend, right? I also watch Aaron plays. I do like her video content. I don't watch her stream, but I do watch Mike Mike Mate's stream. I should find his stream hilarious. But yeah, he really shouldn't talk about that. That's that that's just my my personal opinion, right? Okay, let's fight. Can't we run away somehow? Pure light. Oh, good. Oh, this dude's a healer? Yeah, the birds are mad, exactly. Yeah, man, internet is, is forever, so, uh... I know I'm on stream right now, and... I'm basically here on the internet. But I gotta watch what I do, right? So, is this guy... I think he's, uh... Is it like a hybrid? I think he is grave. What is grave? See, I thought he was... He was a fighter. Yeah, he's got zero intelligence. How does he... He has zero intelligence. And he casts DPS spells. What the hell? You listen to interviews? <laughs> your, your word got censored there. I did, I did censor some words, uh, racial slurs, I made sure to uh, put the racial slurs and censor them. I just want a healthy gamer, oh okay, I never heard a healthy gamer. I want to check it out actually. 
Because I don't listen to enough gaming podcasts. Honestly, this this stream, <laughs> I just end up talking most of the time with you, bro. But but I like it. It's like we're we're hanging out like in the old days, right? Healthy Gamer Podcast. It's more of a mental health one. Okay, okay, yeah. Well, I, I totally believe in, in uh, being healthy gamers, right? That's why I go work out at the gym. And working out your body actually works out your mind too, right? You feel a lot better, more energetic. Things just come easier. Well, I'll definitely check it out. I use a podcast player and I use Spotify for my podcast. Yeah, I want to take another go at that. Oh, what? Like, what type of enemies are those? Look at my dudes there. Hey, Twisted Tom, how's it going? Like, like look at what happened here. What kind of status ailments does she have? Is she stoned, poisoned, and paralyzed all at once? Can I use anything? Yeah, I can't. How's it going, Twisted Tom, by the way? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I barely made it back. I just got uh, Noel here. And, uh... Like, what the hell are these enemies, man? I, I just got wrecked instantly. I'm on this too right now. I believe... Wow. Oh. Oh, that's not an item. Am I pressing the wrong button here? What's going on? The game just froze. I guess this, I guess this happens on the PlayStation as well. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I won't have to use a whole bunch of items this time. Yeah, it crashed. Oh my, it came at a really bad time. The PlayStation crashed, yeah, it happens, it happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sad Pippi there, right? I wonder if Triace website is still around. Okay, there's some insane birds in there, and those burns, birds just destroyed me, man. I barely made it out alive. Yeah, exactly, Alice in the Paz, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I can't believe you have that. For you guys that can't see my chat, Alice in the past posted four different uh, emotes that make up a giant bird face. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna even go that far in. I'm just gonna stay here. I want to show you how crazy these enemies are. Behind? Hey, hey. Oh, it's not the birds, okay. Energy arrow. 
Right, right, right. He casts spells. So is is Noel good? I guess I should sleep, right? But see, the the problem with the new character is, look at this. He's got nothing. And he starts at level 40. So this automatically makes him not as good as Selene. Automatically. Which I've had Selene from the start, and she has massive amount of skills. Yeah, I'm not using this guy. Screw it. Not investing in another character. I have to actually go to sleep. Let's take a rest and then come back. Here's the enemy. Things will work out. I think. Whirlwind fist. Whirlwind fist. Damn. Whirlwind Cool stuff. Might be actually worth grinding here. But I'm gonna do that another time because I'm gonna end the stream here, guys. Then we'll raid somebody. Because I am tired. GG's definitely. I don't think it's worth using Noel. Unless Noel had the same amount of skill points to use as my other characters. But first I'm gonna allocate some skills here. Seventy? What the hell? I jumped pretty drastically. <laughs> yeah, from like what ten to seventy? Oh wait, is that one twenty? Holy! Maxed out. Eighteen hours, huh? Okay, let's see. Who are we gonna raid here?
Trapkos is on, Chaotic is on, Sir Doughboy, Ace is High Gamers is playing Mango Mischief. Fan Street Battles. Oh, Pan Pando is just playing Fantasy Star. She's not big time, but she's like middle time. But um, you guys might enjoy Fantasy Star, of course. So let's raid her. Pando ish. Peace out, bro. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, and until next time, tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Pacific, I will be back. Okay, guys, have a good night.